The Faber test, also known as Patrick's test, is indicated for patients with hip or SI pathology. It is important to rule out the lumbar spine before performing this test. This pain provocation test is part of a clinical prediction rule that, which confirms SI joint dysfunction. This clinical prediction rule states positive pain findings in three or more of these pain pro provocation tests indicates SI joint pathology. These pain provocation tests include distraction, thigh thrust, Gaines lens, compression, sacral thrust, and the Faber test. In the Faber test, several structures are stressed. At the SI joint, the anterior sacroiliac ligament is stretched. At the hip, the anterior joint capsule and soft tissue are stressed during this test. Pain from the hip can also manifest as deep groin pain. Faber tests can also indicate pathology at the facet joints of the low lumbar segments. Pain or tension along the medial thigh is due to strain on the adductor longus muscle. The Faber test is performed with the patient in supine. While draping appropriately, have the patient flex, abduct, and externally rotate his or her femur by placing the lateral malleolus of the side to be tested on the knee of the opposite leg. Stabilize the pelvis at the ASIS on the opposite side while applying overpressure to the medial aspect of the knee on the side to be tested. A positive finding is recreation of the patient's symptoms, not just the occurrence of pain. With SI joint dysfunction, the Faber test has a 77% sensitivity and a 100% specificity. With hip articular pathology, the Faber test has an 81% sensitivity and a 25% specificity. So based on your history and your recent pregnancy and delivery, and your pain you're experiencing in your right SI joint, I want to do a test called the Faber test. And this is a pain provocation test that I can use for diagnosis. Um, so I'm gonna, for this test, I'm going to have you lay down on your back. And we're going to start with the left side, just to compare sides and so you know what to expect when you're right. Okay. Okay. Um, so please put your left ankle over your right knee. Great. And I'm going to stabilize throughout your pelvis and push through your uh, knee. Please let me know if you have any pain or tension with this. Okay. Right here, yeah. and was that pain or tension? Um, it's more tension. Tension. Okay. So based on the location of that being in your inner thigh, uh, tension. I would say it's a stretch of your abductor muscles. Okay. Was it the same pain you've been experiencing? No, not at all. No. Okay. So now we're going to compare to the right side. So same thing as before. Um, your right ankle on your left knee, and I'm going to stabilize here again and push through your. Please let me know if you feel any pain. That one you did? Yeah, that first one. Okay, and was that the same pain you've been experiencing? Yeah. And can you show me where you felt that pain? Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay, so that would be a positive finding for right SI dysfunction. Mm 